Hey YouTube, hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you join me in my YouTube adventures. Hi guys, happy Friday, happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason why I didn't post a video on a Thursday um, is because well, I posted one on Wednesday because we had all that technical difficulties. So I figured I wanted to have two videos this week anyways. So I just figured today would be a great day to do this. Okay. Let's jump right into the video because I am a babbler and you all know that. Coffee. I love coffee. I love, love coffee. And I like to make coffee an experience. So today we're going to decorate my coffee bar, which is right here. I've taken everything off the shelves. I want to show you some new stuff I want to use. So bear with me for one second. Let me get the new stuff. Okay, so three new things that I want to use. Now I showed this in a shopping haul. It's a little coffee bar sign. It's really nice. It's wrought iron, rustic, and the little coffee bar sign. I think it's so cute. $24.99 from the at-home store. And then this little thing, I bought it at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance for $6. It looks like a cup. It says coffee first. And uh, just so you all know, Hobby Lobby is having a big 75% off sale. But... I got this last year and it's a coffee sign and it says running on caffeine and ripped jeans. I thought this was really cute for the summertime and I love ripped jeans and I like signs like this. They're just, you know, cutesy wootsy. So I'm going to use that way up on the top and my brand new can canisters that I got from the at home store. So what I'm going to do is I am, I've cleaned it all off. I'm going to put this to music. I'm going to put the signs up and see how that goes. And then I'm going to get some decor and then we'll make a coffee and enjoy our day. Hello, sweet friends. Hope you all are having a great Friday. Let's get decorating. Okay, I got a little tip and trick for you. Because uh, I'm going to hang up that sign, the coffee bar sign. Grab yourself a piece of tape, like I'm doing here. And tape the back of the holes where the um, screws or nails or whatever you need to put on a wall. This works for picture frames also. And then you find the holes and you mark them with a pencil. And then you just take your tape and put your tape there and then screw in the screws and they're perfectly done. How cute did that turn in? Okay, here's, I'm stumped a bit. So let's make a quick coffee. And um, if you have an espresso, just an FYI, you could totally do this. I use my Nespresso to also make cold coffee. So I'm making a cold coffee while I think of what I want to do. Okay, friends, so I've sped up the video a little bit because I don't want you to be sitting here forever and a day watching all this. And what I did is I went into my garage where I keep all my decor stuff and I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until I came up with a final look. And I like this look that I came up with. Now we're doing it together on film because I wanted to show you what I came up with. And I want to show you how I layer everything. And this is cute. Layering is always, always good. In that little house, I put a little wreath, a little riser, and a little black pear because I got black going on in here. And I thought the black would look really cute. Really cute. 
and it's fun and it's nice and fresh for the summer. Then I grabbed my black pedestal and I noticed it was a little bit dusty, so I dusted it off a bit. And then I grabbed some mugs that I haven't used in a really long time. I like these black and white mugs with the gold and that mug says queen of everything. Yeah, that's me, queen of everything, why not? <laughs> and a little bit of faux fruit. Now, I needed to add something beige because you see the beige in that coffee mug above. I needed something to tie it all in together so both shelves look cohesive. So that's what I came up with. Let's take a final look. Oh, well, wait, before I do that, I start judging stuff up again because you can't see all the lettering. So there I go climbing on the little step stool and looking in the viewfinder. And here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And I hope it inspires you to do something really fun in your coffee bars this season. Well, my sweet friends, that is the end of the video. I hope you liked this video and I hope it inspired you to make a really cute coffee bar in your homes, in some corner of your kitchen and in your homes. This adds character and charm and it's adorable. And here, um, this is a little table. A lot of people ask me where this is from. This is a little table from uh, Hobby Lobby and I use it to store extra napkins and I got some seasonal mugs down on the bottom. And in here I keep my coffee pots. These ones, these are the ones that I use for my Nespresso. And then in this I have sugar and in this I have uh, my Splenda. So yeah, that's my little coffee bar. So I made myself a nice iced coffee that I'm gonna enjoy now. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead, and I will see you on Monday. Back to our regular. So I'll see you on Monday. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye guys, bye everybody.